Thanks again, everybody, for, for coming along today. Um, so just to follow on from, um, from Brian's introduction uh, and moving on to the specific area of professional indemnity cover for solicitors, um, as Brian mentioned, the, the insurance uh, renewal date for all policies is the 1st of December, so um, 1st of October next week, so two months effectively to, uh, to, to get the, the covers, the, the proposal form filled in, propositions uh, in from various different insurers, and obviously make sure that you're happy with the, with the proposition that you've got going forward. So what are the tips that we would give a solicitor for making sure that they get the best out of the market? Well, effectively, we, we, we've summarised them into maybe uh, six or eight bullet points that, that we just go through with you. I suppose it, it, it's, it's the same with all uh, clients that, that, that are well run and it's no different for solicitors, but, but clients who can uh, demonstrate a good risk management practice, a good attitude to risk management, um, and an acceptable claims experience will, won't have any uh, issues with, with the, their 2014 renewal. So there's no, uh, there's no sort of need to be panicking or there's no fear factor setting in or anything like that. There's no hint of insurance companies leaving the market or anything like that, which this time last year there was. Um, it's important that you complete your proposal form correctly and early, so I, I don't think the, uh, the, the Law Society have, have issued the forms yet, but uh, I'd imagine over the next sort of two to three weeks they'll be hitting your desks and um, as I said, it's, it's wise to complete them uh, as, as comprehensively and as quickly as you possibly can and submit them to your, your insurer or your broker uh, in order to, to make sure that they've got the, you know, a, a long enough lead in to, to delivering you uh, proper, and, uh, you know, proper terms that you're, that you're all happy with. Um, obviously, when completing your proposal form, you should also request an up-to-date claims experience from your insurance company so that you can, uh, if, it's of, of, if you're of a mind to do it, to, to issue your proposal form to a number of different providers and obviously attach an up-to-date claims experience with it. 